The Defence Minister and top commanders of the Indian Air Force will hold a three-day conference from today, and the main focus of the conference will be to enhance the air defence surveillance and combat capability over the country's airspace in all sensitive sectors. The Indian Air Force has already deployed all its frontline fighter jets, airlifters, transporters and combat helicopters in key frontline air bases, and the commanders will specifically discuss on the rapid deployment of first batch of six Rafale fighter jets in the Ladakh sector, as the 13 India-specific enhancements include cold engine start capability to operate from high-altitude bases, and the 150 km range Meteor and 560 km range Scalp cruise system will be a big boost to its combat capability. The 100 km range SOAR Smart Anti-Air Field System is now heading towards production, after the mission objectives have been achieved during the three back-to-back -back tests with different release conditions, and it has undergone a total of eight development tests. The Indian Air Force and the Indian Navy have put up the combined requirement for 500 units, and presently negotiation is underway between all concerned parties to start the production of the system in batches. The 120 kg saw is intended to target runways, bunkers, aircraft hangars and other reinforced structures, and the lightweight high-precision system has already been tested from Jaguar Strike aircraft and Su-30 fighter jets, and will be adapted for all fighter jets in the Indian Air Force. As the indigenous unmanned aerial vehicles are not yet ready to enter service, India has planned to buy more Heron drones from Israel and the Predator B from the US, while the Chinese army has deployed its 4,000 km range Wing Long 2, the 5,000 km range CH-4, and the 2,400 km range Harbin BZK-5, a new small quadcopter of just 20 cm for a night exercise at higher altitudes and even the Chinese artillery brigades are employing lightweight drones to detect target. China is also using drones to deliver food, medicine and ammunition to those positions that are not accessible to motor vehicles. A Chinese expert has said that the Indian procurement process is slow and the amount of operational unmanned aerial vehicles is limited, and the existing drones will not overpower China on the border. The world's largest aircraft carrier USS Nimitz of the US Navy has arrived from the South China Sea in the Indian Ocean through the Malacca Strait, and will conduct a joint exercise with the Indian Navy off the coast of Andaman and Nicobar, and the India-US Naval Exercise comes just after the India-Japan Naval Exercise in the same region which was held at the end of June. Officials of both India and Australia have confirmed that India will invite Australia as a permanent member to join the Malabar Naval Exercise 2020 in the Bay of Bengal, and the four countries already have a working arrangement called the Quad Group. Indian policymakers are also aware that China will make a lot of noise as the Malabar 2020 comes close, but the Indian officials termed it as expected and normal, signifying the big change in the mood in the Defence Ministry. Thank <laughs> you.